Hey everyone, welcome back to Code with Yusuf channel. Uh, in the previous video, we uh, completed our registration form using Next.js with the MongoDB database. In this video, we would like to build a login form to create login system in uh, Next.js with MongoDB database. So let's start uh, to just extend the, the, the form. Okay, in the previous video, we had register form in this video we will create a login form then we will just uh, create the api build the api for login system um, in next js so let's first of all move to the previous okay this is the previous app we implemented the uh, uh, registration uh, registration forum okay here we had the register forum whenever we were uh, successfully let's first of all i will show you in mongodb database we have these two records in this okay so let's add a new record press register button so it will directly move to the login page so we directly come here to the login page now we would like to design the login forum first of all so for the login forum just come here first of all to the register to the page.js in the register page.js we have register forum so in register forum we have just this forum in the forum we have a div element in label for name input field for name and for the email input field and for the password input field and a button for the register i will copy this forum okay and also we had three variable name email and password three state variables and we were updating the values whenever we were writing in these input fields like here unchanged sit name either target that we were updating name and email and password so now i will copy this same forum uh, and i will because in the login forum we would like to just change the remove the name field and other uh, process is the same so come here to the login we will create a login folder inside app directory and inside that page.js and here i will paste the code just i will change first of all the name of this to login page and remove the name field because we don't need the name field in the login system also here we will remove the name field change this to login and come here change the register button to login let's move now look at the login looks like this now whenever we insert our email and password so we will pass data to the server side so passing data to the server side here we have whenever we press that button the login button so we will call on submit handle submit function after calling handle submit function so here either prevent will prevent the default submission and we will just pass move to api slash before we were moving to the register api now we will move to log in api and we will pass email and password to that and after that successful um, login system so we will simply uh, like just uh, let's uh, write console.log response we will just write console.log okay we will print the response on the console so let's move now to login api so come here to the api folder inside that before we had register folder now let's create a new folder and we will name it login inside login let's create a file route.js before we implemented we created connection with mongodb database so let's first of all check that in the lib folder we had db.js this is connection with mongodb database this is the url which i wrote inside that env file and access that through process.env mongo url and we created a model okay let's check the model also for user this is user model okay we had name email and password field inside the user model we will use this user model now in registration okay this is the registration api code that we wrote in the registration first of all we created connection with database and then we just distract the name email and password fields from request then we had uh, find one okay based on email we would like to find the user if the user was existed so we will return this is user already registered otherwise we will just hash the password and create a new user now in the login route we will i will just copy this code copy that code and paste that okay i explained these all steps in the registration also you can check the code here 
so in the like in so that is the same code okay we have a post method because we are posting data as post method okay that is post method and we will get request connect to database and we will just extract now distract the email and password from let's make it async okay that is okay right here the curly braces request address distract email and password after that user existence await user that find one if not here we will just add if not if the user was not existed return user not existed that is okay and here instead of hashing password we will bcrypt that compare password okay we already have the password in the database if the user was existed so we will come here and we will just compare the password check password bcrypt.compare we will call compare function and here we will pass our password and comma our encrypted password which is user existence that password okay so here we have returned whenever we find a user so we will store that in the user existence that password so it will compare if now instead of this let's remove this code if just come here check password if that was okay it means the password returned true it means both passwords were the same so then we will just uh, what we need to do we will return that user logged in successfully so let's copy this or sim here i will just try if not if the password was not okay so then i will return an error wrong password like 401 or 404 what is that the return just a user uh, here finally we will return a message login successfully save that that is the whole process that we wrote okay for the api and we have just yeah okay user dot find one every this is the login process so now let's try it okay let's move to the browser to the console the response that we are receiving from a uh, server side refresh it and let's write a user user at gmail.com password one two three four five and press login button let's check the response this is the response that we received look at data login successfully it means that we log in, logged in successfully now here we can just write come here to the page.js app response so here i will just write from login we have returned message uh, login successful We have just printed look at uh response dot data dot message that is okay just simply here we can write and in the message i will write success okay here for the response dot data dot message was equal to equal to with success so then simply move we will use this router okay we have imported use router from next navigation and we created an instance of use router now we will use a router router dot push slash to the home page or we can move to the home page simply here i will write home so let's create this home route so to cre create the home route in the app i will create home uh, folder inside that i will create a file page.js home page let's now again try press the login so we will directly if we logged in second look at home page we directly move to the home page 
the message must success so we directly move to the home page so that's how we can implement the login system in next.js let's review the code this is api of the login system we have passed we whenever we posted the data pass the data so we have handled that like this here this is the api login this is the form simple form we have stored values inside these variables and here we have posted the data to the like uh, to the login api access that post to this login i have explained in the registration for form everything you should watch that video first then come here to the uh, to this second to the login video